Run again, and there we go. I have a nice little box there. Well, the first thing we need to do in starting out making graphics is select this Windows Form application, um, and then name it something. So, whatever you want, doesn't matter. And then you click OK, and you brought to this window. And I actually, when I recorded the graphics tutorial you're about to see, I'd forgotten to do this part, so I'm doing that now. So you see, all right, um, that's it. And you should just watch the rest of the video for the graphics. Welcome everyone to a C Sharp graphics tutorial. And I'm redoing an uh, old graphics tutorial that I did um, to improve it. So let's get started. First thing we want to do is go to the toolbox here. And this is for beginners. So um, if you can't find the toolbox, this is Visual Microsoft Visual C, C Sharp 2010 Express Edition. There will be a link in the description to download this. It works on any PC just about. Um, let's make the button really big and if you can't find that toolbox go to window up here and then I think or no actually tools actually I don't know how to do anything here okay never mind other windows that's why I thought it was a window and it's toolbox right there under view so gonna go over here just click and drag over a button we'll go to that button properties and we're gonna go down here to text and properties which is located right over here and you can find that properties thing in the view just like uh, this properties window and then in the text here we're gonna type draw something just like that it says draw something let's move that over here because I want to draw it right about here double click on this go to code I'm gonna zoom in by doing control and mouse wheel so you guys can see what's happening here and the first thing we need to do is go up here and go graphics G equals uh, in fact don't do any of the equals yet okay and then we're going to double click the form also and inside this one right here the form load function or method right in between these two brackets we're going to type G equals this dot create graphics just like so and that basically takes this is in reference to this window here and create graphics basically assigns this uh, this value G to be a graphics value so that when we go here we can do G dot draw and what we're gonna draw a rectangle and um, now we need a pen so we're gonna go we'll go ahead and add that up here and P. Then in here, we're going to go underneath this row. P equals new pen. And then brushes dot. We'll do a random color. Gainsborough, whatever that is. <laughs> I have no idea. Do a comma. We'll make it a little bit thicker so people can see it. So four in thickness. And then just do that. And then here we go. Uh, P for the, the pen that we need to draw. And then in the rectangle, we'll do new rectangle, um, starting at the x and y value of 0 and 0, so the top uh, left-hand corner, and we'll do 100 by 100 in width, and that's in pixels. So let's just go and see what that does. Go like so. Go and open this up, and bam, we got... Okay, Gainsborough is hard to see, so let's actually change that to some sort of, like, red or something. So let's just go in here dot red or let's, let's do pale violet red just because just to make it a little bit different just click that pale violet red there it is um, another thing we can do here is go uh, g dot fill uh, rectangle and we'll fill it with brushes dot pale green or let's do pale goldenrod and then um, rectangle uh, and let's just go ahead and copy this rectangle from up here just like so and there we go and this is actually going to draw right over top of uh, the other thing so you'll barely be able to see the line on the outside there but we can you know move it over by about mm, four pixels because we did a line width of four so draw it again and there we go I have a nice little box there 
So that's a really simple tutorial to start drawing. Um, you can do other things like drawing images, and I might get to that later. But for now, I just wanted a really quick, simple um, drawing tutorial for you guys. Um, just because I think sometimes I make things too complicated, and I know some people aren't are just beginning. So um, there you go, um, drawing a rectangle. Start that again. Show you what it does. In fact, let's go ahead and change the colors to something that's a little bit more bold, um, orange and um, black. There we go. And then there you go. Orange and black. Alright, well I will see everybody later. Subscribe for more videos and go ahead and submit what you want to see done. And that's all for now. Bye.